Here's an example similar to the last one in that we have a complex fraction with operations in the numerator and the denominator. But I'm going to show you a different technique for solving this. This is a te technique for making the problem simpler by getting rid of these little fractions here. And here's how you do it. Take a look at the denominators, 3 and 5, and ask yourself what would be the least common denominator for those numbers. And in this case the least common denominator is 15. So I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by 15, like this. I've multiplied my entire numerator by 15 and my entire denominator by 15. Now when I distribute this 15 here, this is going to be 15 multiplied by the 4 and by the 2 thirds. And when I distribute this 15 here, 15 times 2 and 15 times the 1 fifth, the little fractions will go away. So watch this. First 15 times 4, that's 60. And then I have my minus sign. And then I have 15 times 2 thirds. Well, that's 15 times 2 over 3. Well, I'll go ahead and write it like this. It's 15 times 2 thirds. Okay, now let's do the bottom. 15 times 2 right there is 30. And then 15 times 1 fifth. And don't forget that minus sign. So it's minus 15 times 1 fifth. So now let's just do these little operations here, and those turn out to be really easy. In the numerator, I have 60 minus, and you see here 15 times 2 is 30, divided by 3 just leaves me with 10. And then in the denominator, I have 30 minus, and you can see 15 over 5 is going to be 3, so 30 minus 3. And with a little bit of practice, you can skip this intermediate step. You can go from here and distribute and go straight to this step. If that's tricky for you, though, go ahead and write this intermediate step to help you think it through. Now let's finish this up. 60 minus 10 is 50, and 30 minus 3 is 27. And that's our answer. So that's two different techniques. You can carry out the operations first and then do the division, or you can multiply the numerator and the denominator by the least common denominator of these little fractions. Either approach will get you the same answer.